As a diabetic patient myself, I know how difficult it is to be a diabetic patient. I have to be careful what goes into my body every waking moment because my body is not very good at managing all the foods that are coming in, especially sugars. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In the last 30 years of my medical practice, I've seen thousands upon thousands of diabetic patients. One of the most common results of being diabetic is a diabetic ulcer that can lead to severe complications such as amputation. In this video series called Holistic Diabetic Foot Ulcers Cure Series, very mouthful, <laughs> I would like to share with you how I treat my foot ulcer patients in my office and how I empower my patients to take control of diabetic condition, which in turn would help cure their foot ulcers. As a diabetic patient myself, I know how difficult it is to be a diabetic patient. I have to be careful what goes into my body every waking moment because my body is not very good at managing all the foods that are coming in, especially sugars. In my first video, is we're going to talk about what is an ulcer, where do you get ulcers, and four causes of ulcers. Let's get right into our first video. We're still we're going to talk about what is a diabetic ulcer? It is an opening of a skin because of many different causes. We're talking about main four causes. And these things are open and it can invite infection, it can cause amputation, and it can cause all kinds of uh, havoc in your body. So it's very important to keep that, make sure that it's not opening. And these are the ulcers. And how prevalent are they? If you're diabetic, about one out of six or seven patients will have this diabetic ulcers opening up. And out of those people, almost 25% or one out of four will have amputation. So this is a devastating disease that we need to stop the progression of it. We should not get it in the first place, but if you get them, we need to close it as quickly as possible. Then where do you get the ulcers? Um, number one way is your toenail. As you can see, the toenail gets very thick from uh, fungal infection, and then it presses against the uh, different kinds of um, shoes, and then it's tight and you don't know where, uh, you don't have a lot of feeling because when you're diabetic, so it became infected and then it, it can uh, become ulcerated. Next one is the tip and top of the toes. Uh, a lot of people have what we call a hammer toes, which we're gonna talk about later on, and then you're literally sitting on the tip and then you have uh, these points on the top of the toes may rub and open up and these causes ulcers on those area. Also the toes, when they become hammer toe like this, the knuckles become in a different position when we rub each other, and then it causes in, in between the toes and the inner spaces, you can create an ulcer and become infected as well. And then uh, you will find out that uh, you don't sweat uh, when you're supposed to sweat, uh, and you're very dry when you're diabetic. When that happens, uh, you're, you're, you're not nourishing your fat area, especially bottom of the foot, where the ball of the foot, where the bones are prominent, as well as the heel area, and the less of a padding in that area causes the ulcers to open up. We're about halfway through the tips on how to identify diabetic ulcers. If you've enjoyed this video so far and learned something new, leave the word ulcer in the comments below, and be sure to also give this video a thumbs up. Welcome back. Now, we're gonna talk about four causes of diabetic ulcers right now. The first one, most important one, is lack of blood sugar control. Well, that's being diabetic is exactly that. And a lot of doctors may not agree with me because we're so uh, busy trying to fix the problem, but I think it's important to control the blood sugar uh, to, uh, in order to get you to heal your ulcer. So this is the most important one. Uh, we're gonna talk extensively about this on the holistic treatment side and also how I do it through my daily routine in, in other videos. So I'm not gonna go into all the details, but I'm gonna give you the bullet point of exactly what has to happen. So how do you control the blood sugar? We need to uh, get on a diet, uh, diabetic diet I call it, specific way. We need to exercise. Exercise is probably uh, just as important as diet, if not more important. This is very important. I'm gonna tell you why in the future. And then also a stress. Stress causes your cortisol from your kidney area to come out and that causes, and cortisol is a fat storing hormone. So it's not a good thing to 
be stressed all the time because it's going to give you more uh, uh, fat and increase your weight, which causes uh, diabetes to be worsened. So uh, stress is a huge problem. Sleep. When you don't sleep very well, uh, a lot of diabetics don't because you tend to urinate a lot more in the uh, uh, at nighttime, and that causes uh, sleep deprivation and that causes all kinds of havoc in your body as well. So uh, controlling the blood sugar is very important. We're going to go in detail on, the, on the all the other videos that are coming up, so stay tuned on that part. Next one is lack of sensation. We call them neuropathy. A lot of people have, a lot of diabetics have a neuropathy because their sugar is not well controlled and the electricity like in your room is not working too well. So it causes all these other problems. When you cannot have the sensation, you cannot feel it, then it, then it causes all kinds of ulcer to open up. You know, you're, not, you're not even sure if something is in the shoes if you got cut or injured, you don't even feel it because you have neuropathy, which is a big problem. Now, it causes dryness because of the neuropathy. We call them autonomic nervous system, which is responsible for many things in your body, but especially sweating. Your body needs to, when it's hot, it needs to open up and sweat. We're sweating about one pint of uh, a sweat every day, all of us. So we sweat a lot on our shoes, on our feet, on our hands, the whole body, but it's not sweating very well. And it gets really dry, and guess what? It cracks and uh, causes infection in the area of the feet. So very important uh, not uh, to, to improve actually your neuropathy and we'll show you how to do that as well. Also, when you have neuropathy, your muscles become weaker because I told you about electricity. When the, when the lights are out, you, your air conditioner doesn't work, things are not very good. And when that happens, it weakens your muscles, which in turn makes your foot to be deformed, such as the hammer toes, bunions, um, you, you got uh, lack of uh, fat padding on the bottom of the feet, which causes uh, the ulceration because you don't have any sensation from neuropathy. Next one is lack of circulation. We call them PAD, peripheral arterial disease, we call it. Uh, this is the padding that I was talking about. Because of lack of uh, uh, a nervous system uh, working, it's not opening the vessels to uh, circulate the area. So what happened is that you have decreased circulation and unfortunately you get fat where you don't want them around you, this area <laughs> and then you don't get the fat where you want them like your face. You know the young people have a lot of good plumbing face right here, good fat and also bottom of the feet because you're not getting good circulation and you're not getting the padding that you really need especially on your feet which causes ulcerations. And then, and then the most important, obviously, right now is lack of proper foot care. Well, a lot of diabetics, they don't come to see me regularly. They should. I always tell them when they come in, I said, well, I haven't seen you in like four or five months. You need to see me at least once every two months. Or some people need to see me every month because they have a lot of calluses. Their nails are very brittle and very thick and very dangerous, actually. So you need to see me regularly or you need to see your foot doctor regularly every month or every two months at at, at, the, at the least. And a lot of people don't come for months and which causes all kinds of problems. They present themselves with infection or you know, tremendous amount of uh, a pain and problems. So very important. You got to get your nails cut. You got to get calluses all uh, you know, debrided. Also, we have to check your shoes. Make sure your shoes are not too tight. All of us wear shoes that are really too tight for us. And it's, it's especially on the tip of the toes, you have to have at least a thumb, thumb width from the tip of the longest uh, toe and the tip of the shoes, you have to have at least a thumb width to be able to accommodate a lot of moving that's inside the shoes as well. And then the socks. A lot of people like cotton socks. Uh, cotton socks are okay, but the best socks are acrylic socks or uh, synthetic socks because it wicks the moisture and it evaporates the moisture. And a lot of the cotton socks, it wicks the moisture, but it does not evaporate, so it becomes kind of too wet in there and causes fungal infection and other problems as well. So you have to get your feet checked regularly and that's the message for all your diabetics. Be sure to like this video if you found it interesting or learn something new. If you think someone else will enjoy it, be sure to send it to them. Stay tuned for my next video in my Diabetic Foot Also series coming out next Sunday. Don't forget to follow me on my other social media channels, including Instagram and Facebook, to stay updated on everything happening on my channel. Until next time, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.